James loading up some horse bedding to go to the horses in Charlotte. It's chopped rape straw that's been through the wood chipper. Just put a bit of oko in his tyre because it keeps going soft on the front of the mirror. Luckily, you can do it, we've still got air in. Just put some pressure in the barrel and equalises itself. Just pump it across. And then put the valve back in. Yeah, there's a slow puncher in that somewhere. We put lace in it a few times, but we can't work out where it is this time. So put a bit of oko in it. It's like a rubber solution and glue, and it finds the hole and like sticks in it and bonds, and then hopefully it'll stop it leaking. Just been filling this with that blue and a little black cap there. I put there and it just fell off somewhere. And can I find it? Nope. I'm looking now for like five minutes. It obviously fell inside the engine somewhere. Spent this morning looking for the Ad Blue Cap. Now I've been looking for the snowman. Found the snowman for the front of the Merlot, the inflatable snowman. But I can't find the FM broadcaster to transmit to all the tractors. So I'm just going to keep looking for that. Could be anywhere in here. It's been nearly 12 months. I spent an hour and a half searching the workshop up and down because the lads were convinced that the thing that I was looking for was by my toolbox, which is the broadcaster to talk to the tractors. Give up. Went and asked Christine. Anyway, she'd put it in her office in a safe place with all the other things I've been looking for. So thank God, I just wish I'd gone that way first. Then I wouldn't have wasted most of my life looking for it. Anyway, I've got the list now of all the tractors. I'm just gonna go through that now and check if there's anyone dropped out or not dropped out. And then if there's any more that we can add on, we can do. Chester update. He now thinks he owns the sofa. You gonna get down? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get down, get down. Whee! No. Nope. Don't know whether you remembered, but this was two years ago with the fast track when we did the food bank collection at the cathedral. So I've got a really good picture of the fence. So I'll use it as today's outro. Also, there's now bobble hats available, but you'll have to be quick again with them. If you want to go onto the, the link below in the description of this video, you'll be able to go onto Stag Clothing's website and order different things with that's different merchandise, but they only think that they can get out the ones before Christmas ordered up until this Wednesday, so be quick. But yeah, there's some bobble hats on there now at the moment. So thanks for all the others that are coming over the weekend as well. Great, and um, go and have a look at the other ones. The boiler's been struggling to get temperature because this auger at the bottom there is, is worn out and feeds the chip. So I'm gonna take this panel off, try and clean out the side, see if it'll flow a bit better. And then I could do with another flight to sort of screw onto it and tech screw in position because I can't weld in there. So this is why it's not working. If you look down there, it's worn to about that big instead of about that big. It'll stop in a second and you'll see. See how thick it is here. It's like a foot across. Down there is about less than six inches. We need to get a new spiral and wind it in and then tech screw it on because I can't weld in here. It's too much wood chip. Richard come up with a good idea of making some flights out of this old disc. So we're gonna try and cut it with the plasma cutter now and try and make a flight that we can tech screw on. See if we can get it working better. Problem is, spring steel, so it doesn't want to stay where we put it. So I have to heat it up. Not really sure how easy this is going to be to get that into a curve like an auger piece and then slide it on and then try and get it so that it matches up with what's already on there. We'll have a go. Fill it down a bit in the sink. You can pick it up. Thread this now into there and work it in and tech screw it on. 
see if we can get these through now into the flights. Screw it on. Got one tech screw in it now. We're just gonna try and pulse it so we can get the next one. Little bit. Bit more. No. Not gonna work. I've given up with this now. I've decided it's not gonna work because the auger will go all the way to the bottom. It'll have a shear force on every whatever bolt to put in and you can't really get many bolts in. So then we'll just have to wait for a new piece to come and then slide that round, clean it all out and then weld it in situ or unbolt it all. Put a block and tackle around that beam at the top, bring the whole auger out, work on it in the workshop, bring it back in. Either way, it's not gonna be a five minute fix. So for now, I'm just gonna turn the pulse time up so it pulses for longer, despite it moving less chip each time. It is carrying chip now. I've changed the pulse time now. So if it's running for 30 seconds and stopping for 10, rather than stopping for 10 and running for 15. So hopefully it'll get twice as much chip down the horn bit. Temperature now starting to rise, so that's a good sign. Got this snazzy black light and this fluid, which glows in the dark. So the plan is paint the tractor with that. Shine a black light at it, the tractor should glow in the dark. So we'll have a go when it goes dark in a bit. We've also got this that you can add to paint as well, which we perhaps should have done before we painted the 936. And that glows in the dark as well. Some sort of whiting agent. Andrew's really disappointed that I never filmed this yesterday because it was something like 70 pound, that badge. He's put his new badge on. So it's 49.55. He's looking pretty min. Did he? Just needs a sticker for there, that sort of four sticker. The rest not too bad, and this side looks perfect. It's just brutally loud though with that exhaust on it. Anyway, I'm going to try in a bit putting the, the black light ink, if you will, on the black 936 and we'll see what it looks like, see if we can get it to glow in the dark. Right, I've got this now that you're supposed to mix with paint. And then this ink, invisible ink and the black light. So what I'm gonna do is somewhere here where you can't really see that much. I'm gonna put some of the ink on here, on the 936, and then I'm gonna get the black light and put it, I don't know, once mounted on it, so it's like that perhaps was shining up and then we'll see if we can get it to glow in the dark. It's like, it's like some kind of nuclear, nuclear kind of waste. So if we get a tissue now, I'm not gonna paintbrush. So like, daub that on there like that. I need to find something to mix it with so that it paints on a little bit more even. And then the idea will be, we'll just spray it on the tractor with like a, a I don't know what you call it, a um, paint sprayer, you know, a garden waterer thing. And then let's have a look with the switches. Just switch on this wire, it's got a switch. So that, that's the tractor normally. And then, da da da, glows up. So let's turn the lights off in the shed. We'll see what it looks like in the dark. You can also get, and I have ordered, but it's not arrived yet, a hair spray that you spray on your hair, that then when that sees ultraviolet, that glows up. So it might be that we just spray the tractor with hair spray, light it up with black light, and then after the tractor's run, just jet wash it all off. Same with that ink, just jet wash it off. Anyway, we'll turn the shed lights off and see what happens. So the shed lights are off, that powder actually glows in the dark all the time. Let me turn my flash off. Yeah, that, that powder absorbs UV and glows in the dark all the time. It's what they make starry lights for your kitchen, your bedroom wall for. Right, so black fence, black light. I think that's gonna look mint. Imagine the whole tractor glowing like that. You can even do really cool stuff with it as well. Look at that.
I think that's pretty clever. So that's like the dark, then turn the light on it and the whole thing glows. And that, that bag, charge it up with that. Proper glows. It's in my coat as well. So this is my high-vis coat. Now shine a black light at it. It's like day glow. Just need to find a way now of applying it evenly. Because that looks a little bit wishy-washy. Get it on even. Make sure, I mean that's on the windows now just as an experiment. But we obviously don't want it on the windows otherwise you won't be able to see out. You can also get string that's a bit like wool or a bit like string lines you'd use for on building sites that's reflective to black light. And so you could thread that and make like, you know, webs and different funny designs on the tractor and then light it up. So that's something that I'm going to try as well. Andrew's just going to knock off chipping now. It's going dark because we don't want to put something for the chipper that isn't a branch. I have just got the birthday bumper. So Megan Scott, Ray and Carr, Colin Pennington, Julie Wells, 50 and Joe Brennan. Happy birthday to you guys. This stuff is like magic. So you charge it up with UV. Take the UV light off it and it just glows. Just sprinkling a bit of this on. This is the uh, the glow in the dark sort of powder. So let's just take the light off. Look at that! <laughs> Look at me hand. <laughs> Put that in it. Yesterday's quiz question was in fact to keep the concrete mixer so it doesn't fall off the pallet forks. The pins go in and stop it sliding off the heels of the forks. Today's quiz question is, what's this? Very small. If you think you know, leave a comment below. Just trying to arrange getting the 7710 brought up. So it's by St Albans, which is near Luton Airport, Harpenden, which is near Rothamsted Research as well. So if anyone's got a wagon heading north with room on for a 7710 John Deere, get in touch. I was hoping that Richard Campy's wagon would be able to pick it up tomorrow because they thought they could, but anyway, they've got someone else on now, so they can't. But I need to get it up here by the 19th, ready to get it decorated for the tractor run. So if anyone's got a wagon with a bit of spare space and wants to do it for cheap, give me a shout, please. Everything seems to be coming together now for the tractor run. We're going to get some tractors decorated this week. We've just been playing now with that black light and seeing whether we do a whole tractor with black light. Anyway, another thing to mention, thanks to Thomas Plant. So Tudor Evans that's watches, I spoke to Win from Thomas Plant and he's gonna send three of the big tripod lights that we can put up in the yard on the night of the tractor run. Just makes things a little bit easier for people to see around, setting the lights up in the dark because it will go dark around half four, but we won't be leaving till quarter past six. So that'll make things a bit easier and light the whole yard up because we won't just be in a little bit of the yard, we'll be right on the edges of it because to fit all under and odd tractors in here. So that's great, so thanks a lot for that. That's probably about all for today. Thanks for everyone that's watching and um, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. I think we might try and get the fast track lit up tomorrow. Also, my bubble machine, wherever it's gone. Although it lived on the back of the fast track all last year, that still works. I tried it before and it didn't blow the electrics. So that's good. And I've also found the inverter to go in it and the FM broadcaster. But what we're probably gonna do is get any one of the tractors and if you're listening any tractor drivers, download the app CB Talk, it's by Midland because we'll be using that as well to communicate because that will work over a longer distance than the FM broadcaster will. So, and if you don't know what the tractor run is, look at the videos from around the 20th of December last year and you'll see what's going on. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.